think about it, Luke. <laughs> Come on, Mom, I'm starving. You must feel a little sympathy. Jealousy, maybe. But no sympathy. Nice try, Larry. <laughs> really? The old use your twin brother to distract me routine? I wasn't born yesterday. Now put the cupcakes back. I don't have any cupcakes. Then what are those two large pink growths spreading out of your butt? <laughs> Can I have some lunch money for tomorrow? Of course. I can't have my little genius going hungry on her first day. Is $5 enough? Mom, the cafeteria at my new school for gifted children <laughs> has two Michelin stars. That won't even get me to the salad course. Here. If you want dessert, I'm gonna have to take out a second mortgage. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> you know these are for your dad's art class at the community center. Don't you have any self-control? Well, your mother asked you a question. You, uh, have a little something. That's always been there. Mom? What are you doing? Putting your names on your backpack so you won't lose them. You can't put our names on stuff. Everyone will know what to rhyme their insults with. Don't be silly. Nobody will even see it. I wrote it small on the tag. And a little bigger on the strap. And I put a little card in the pocket. Hi, my name is Larry. I'm going to die friendless. That's not what it says doesn't it? <laughs> Just do me one favor. Look out for your brother today. High school is a lot different from homeschool, and Luke might have a tougher time adjusting than you. Wow, what are the odds? This backpack has the same name as me. <laughs> We're on the same page. Uh, Lori, your limo is here? <laughs> oh, good. I hear it has a waffle station and a smoothie bar. <laughs> I was expecting a school bus. Buses are for regular kids. Gifted children get limos. Have fun at smart kids school. I believe you mean Academy for Advanced Intellectual Achievement. But smart kids school works too. Bye, sweetie. You boys better get going too. You don't want to be late for your first day. Oh, my little babies are growing up. <laughs> Get breathed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little emotional. I can't feel my arms. <laughs> oh, good. You're still here. I have a new comic strip idea I want to run by you. I call it All Bark, No Bite. It's about two small town cops. <laughs> one's a tree and one's a dog. <laughs> what do you think? Be completely honest. <laughs> Run, I'll cover you. But, but wait, there's more. The, the tree is two days away from retirement. Later. Oh, who am I kidding? A dog would never team up with a tree. They're from completely different worlds. Do think of something great. You're a brilliant cartoonist. Thanks, honey. If I knew we were dressing up today, I would have put on my fancy house coat. My interview at the bank is this morning. I have a good feeling about it. I'm actually excited about getting back into the rat race after all these years. Rat race? Mm. Oh, that gives me a great idea for a new comic. Is it about two rats who drive race cars? <laughs> no, but I like that better. Hi there. Hello. What are you doing? I'm just saying hello. And a good day to you, sir. Cool kids don't walk around saying hello to each other. What do they say? Nothing. They just kind of grunt like this. Eh. Watch. Eh. See? He completely ignored you. Exactly. How cool was that? Now you try. I'm sorry, did you say something? You're supposed to ignore me. If I ignore you, how will I be able to offer you membership to our exclusive club? Really? You're offering me membership? No. 
I just wanted to get your hopes up so that when I rejected you, it would be, oh, so much sweeter. <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to get into the chess club. What's cooler than that? Literally everything. <gasps> ah, so beautiful. Whoa, you're... The future Mr. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> but you can call me Luke. Hi there, I'm... Larry, right? It's written on your backpack. <laughs> I'm Chelsea. I should apologize for my brother. He's super weird. I think it's kind of sweet. Well, my heart is doing the exact same thing. You just can't tell because my twin brother got all the cartoon parts when the zygote split in our mother's womb. <laughs> For future reference, that's super weird. <sighs> How am I supposed to work with all this annoying silence? <laughs> Sorry. I guess after 14 years of loud kids in the background, it became like white noise. <laughs> I thought if I made a big racket, I'd get the ideas flowing. I was wrong. <laughs> How was your interview? I nailed it. The only other candidate doesn't have near the experience I do. Sounds like you're a shoe in <laughs> shoe in A small town innkeeper who's also a shoe. <laughs> we are both on fire today. <laughs> We should celebrate. What do you say? Well, I'm in. Oh. And I know just what we need. <laughs> Where did you hide the cupcakes? Oh. This place is awesome. Yeah, just look at the size of these lockers. It's like a two-bedroom apartment in here. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a plant. <laughs> oh. Hey there, we meet again. If you call randomly bumping into each other in the hall meeting. And I do. Where's your brother? He makes me laugh. That's so weird. Because of the two of us, I'm actually the funny one. I'll prove it. <laughs> Let me get my props. <laughs> nice shot. Allow me to return the favor. After school, be at the track by the bleachers. I, I, I mean... Don't be late. Larry, are you there? Uh-oh, I think the front door is sticking. Larry? That's it. We're done. We're never going back to that horrible place. Maybe you should just apologize to that guy. Nah, you should never go with your first idea. <laughs> Something will come to me. Hey, there's my boys. <laughs> How was your first 172 minutes of high school? <laughs> Not that I'm counting the minutes you're away from me. That would be sad. <laughs> uh, I feel sick and I might be contagious. Maybe I should stay home for the next few months or so. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Let me get the thermometer. Are you okay? Do you need me to make you some soup? No. Uh, I mean, yes, but later. I'm faking sick right now. <laughs> Just play along. Got it. I'm sick, too. <laughs> so cold. Everything is going dark. I see a tunnel of light. And there's Grandma. She's beckoning, telling me to come into the light. Your grandmother's still alive. <laughs> is she? <laughs> When's the last time we saw her? Might be worth a call. Okay, eat your lunch and get back to school. I have to take these to your dad's art class. Bye, Mom. Great, thanks to you, I'm a dead man. Well, when you get to the other side, don't be surprised if you see Grandma. <laughs> what do you mean the caterer quit? Who's going to break the news to the ESP club that we have no finger sandwiches? Nobody. They read minds. They already know. That's not the point. As the manager of this center, it's my responsibility to make sure there are finger sandwiches. 
And today, there are no finger sandwiches. Hello, Pam. Hi, Craig. Uh, please, Mrs. Stanley, call me Dupe. Everyone does. Lisa. No, Dupe. Lisa's a girl's name. No, I'm Lisa. And I'm Dupe. We could do this dance all night. Lisa, we're dealing with a crisis right now, so if you'll excuse us. Of course, Pam. Actually, I prefer Pamela. Okay, Pamela. You know what? Still too casual. Let's try Ms. Fontaine. Ms. Fontaine it is. Wait! What's in that container? Just some cupcakes I made for my husband's art students. What's your rush, girlfriend? Oh. And please, call me Pam. Mala. Great work, everybody. Remember, the idea is to create a cartoon version of yourself, but also to keep it as true and accurate a reflection as possible. Now, you've added a, a, an oversized mole on your character's face, which, <laughs> while hilarious, is also <laughs> surprisingly accurate. <laughs> ah, just in time, everybody. The refreshments have arrived. <laughs> Where are the cupcakes? I sold them to Pam. You what? I thought those cupcakes are half the reason my students show up. It's half the reason I show up. Uh-oh. I hear stomachs rumbling. Uh, you better run. This could get ugly. What about you? I'll be okay. I have half a roll of mints in my pocket. Now go. Save yourself. <laughs> Easy does it now. <laughs> That's it. There's plenty for everybody. Well, go get them. <laughs> Great work today. See you all next week. <laughs> Better to appear weak than be dead. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Darnell. I'm Larry. I just wanted to talk to you about our a little misunderstanding. You mean when you shoved me? It was more of a light push. A delicate tap, some would say. <laughs> I just thought we could forget the whole incident. You know, forgive and forget. Hey, Tiny! <laughs> Back away from my brother! <laughs> you want trouble, Stretch? You got it. Well, you called my bluff. <laughs> You're on your own, Larry. I'll see you after school. Man, that guy's crazy. Wouldn't want to get on his bad side. <laughs> That's it. We're done with high school. What's going on? For starters, the cool kids rejected me. For the last time, the chess club is not cool. It's the game of kings, Larry. The game of kings! Oh, my poor sweetie. You were supposed to watch out for him. I was a little busy watching my life flash before my eyes. That place is terrifying. You might as well have signed us up for the Hunger Games. All right, family meeting. Look, things are changing for us, and we need to adapt. Will it be easy? Yes! <laughs> no, I meant no. The reality here is that your sister's new private school is expensive, and to make it work, it's going to require sacrifices from all of us. You know, like in the Hunger Games. <laughs> it's the bank. Hello? Yes, this is. I see. All right. That sounds fine. Thanks for calling. They didn't get the job. <laughs> I knew this was a mistake. I should be here homeschooling the boys. I do work better with noise in the house. <laughs> Wait, no. We're forgetting Laurie. Remember her? Yay high, smarter than all of us put together? Right. We have to be strong for Laurie. She's here, smiles, everyone smiles. <laughs> hey! 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 Yes! I can't do this. I hate my new school. Why? What happened? Based on my evaluation, I've been relegated to the remedial division. Huh? In a school of geniuses, I'm in the dummy class. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
now can things go back to the way they were? Larry, your sister's upset. Be considerate. And yes, that's exactly what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Got room for one more? Go away, Larry. What part of go away do you not understand? Hey, we can't all be geniuses. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I think you're making the right call. Really? Sure. Do you really want to be driven to school in a pretentious limo? <laughs> and who needs to socialize with intellectuals when you can hang out with the kids that can burp the alphabet? Also, why feast on truffles and caviar when you can eat jellied meat served to you out of an ice cream scoop? I feel better now. Thanks, Larry. Hey, don't thank me. Thank the makers of jellied meat products. <laughs> hey, everyone. Lori has an announcement to make. I've decided to stick with my new school. Isn't that great? <laughs> Wait, that's not great at all. Larry convinced me that being on the bottom rung of an elite school is still far superior to being on the top rung of an ordinary school. That's what you took away from our talk? Did you not hear the part about the jellied meat? That's great, sweetie. Good for you. We're so proud. What have you done? I was just trying to make her feel better. Well, if Lori is mature enough to give her new situation a second chance, we should all follow her example as well. How did it go so wrong so fast? <laughs> Lisa, there you are. Your cupcakes were a huge hit yesterday. Glad to hear it, because there are no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, no refunds. <laughs> you know, a position just opened up here at the center. How would you feel about being our full-time caterer? I don't know. It would have to be decent pay with flexible hours. <laughs> oh, you were serious again? I can never tell when you're joking. You know what? I'll take the job. Welcome to the Brock. You start tomorrow. You'll be preparing lunch for the Italian for Beginners class. Perfect. I'll start with a basil and portobello bruschetta with a... Just bring a 10-pound tray of lasagna. Done! Here's your container back. Thanks. Why is it damp? I don't know. It's not like someone licked every surface to make sure they got every last bit of delicious icing. You keep it. Awesome! do you plan on keeping up this disguise? Roughly until I graduate. Hey there. Hi, Chelsea. Where's your weird brother? His awkward advances were starting to grow on me. There's a lot more awkward where that came from. And now I'm over it. There you are. Oh, no. This is it. You got my back, right, Luke? What's that? I can't hear you from behind this protective steel door. You didn't show up yesterday. If you really want to fight me, go ahead. Do your worst. Why would I want to fight you? You told me to meet you up by the bleachers after school. For football trials. For a little guy, you pack a pretty good punch. But you were all like, don't be late. The coach is a real stickler for punctuality. Listen, you can still try out today if you're interested. Uh, uh, sure. Okay, let's do this. Oh, sorry. I'm just really strong. Larry, how's it going out there? Are you dead yet? Any sign of grandma? with your legs. Mom, guess what? I made the football team. That's great! I knew things would turn around for you. And if I play my cards right, I could still make the chess team. Hey. Chess is played with cards, right? 
Hey, everyone, come check this out. I've finally come up with the perfect comic strip. What do you think? Is that us? It sure is. I'm calling it the Stanley Dynamic. Aww. I so love it, Dad. <laughs> look, now we're both cartoons. Yeah, we look so weird. I'm just glad we don't look like that in real life. I can do anything you can do. Don't do it, Larry. You'll hurt yourself. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> See? No problem. <laughs> OK, I judged wrong, and I'm in a great deal of pain. <gasps> Ronnie, hey, just wondering if you changed your mind about letting me into the chess club. The scrolls do not foretell of that. Check the back? Maybe there's a footnote. Wait up! <laughs> Luke? Hello? You know, a throw rug would really tie this room together.